Hey everyone, Jerry with Vinci Digital. We are a digital marketing agency that helps businesses generate a reliable and consistent flow of high quality leads that convert. In today's blog, we're going to talk about Google's contextual entity first search and why it's a game changer for small businesses. The ever changing Google algorithm updates have forced those in marketing to shift their thinking. Search no longer is just about keywords. Today, the focus is on entities. Google defines an entity as a thing or concept that is singular, unique, well-defined and distinguishable. Even to the savviest marketing experts, that will sound a bit vague. To simplify, consider an entity anything you call a noun. It could be a person, a place, a concept, or a thing. Google uses entities to get a better understanding of user intent and answers the question, why is someone doing a specific search? Once upon a time, SEO was simply about keywords, but today, brands need to take an entity-first approach to their optimization strategies. So what is the job of a search engine? This is a question Google has been trying to answer for decades. As technology changes, so do the answers and the roles and responsibilities a search engine holds. Ultimately, a search engine should provide information to the user that's relevant to their search. Google makes it look easy, but it's a complicated process that's been evolving since 2008, when keywords were king. Mobile devices and voice searches have made this process even more challenging today. Search engines can not just rely on keywords anymore, they need context and intent to understand the premise of the search. Entities help define intent. For instance, consider the search phrase, what is the cheapest cup of coffee in San Francisco? A search engine will break that question down into separate identifiers that Google calls entities. So for example, there's the concept, which is the, the question. There's numerical expressions, which is the cheapest. The items, which is the cup and the coffee. And the location, which is in San Francisco. And then you also have the what, the why, and the how. So connecting these dots helps the search engine better understand the query and the user's intent when making it. For example, this user wants to buy a cheap cup of coffee in San Francisco. Entity first search strategies provide semantic SEO, allowing the search engine to provide comprehensive information that answers the query. It's an approach that changes the face of SEO. To make the most of this process, brands need to add entity optimization to their core SEO strategy. So what is entity first optimization? Entity optimization shifts the focus from keywords to three concepts, what, why, and how. Entity optimization brings these three concepts together. So first, let's talk about the what. What is the core concept of the query and answers the question, what does the searcher expect to see in the results? This idea is very similar to keywords. In the above example, what is the cheapest cup of coffee in San Francisco? What the searcher wants to know is a location for a cheap cup of coffee in a specific city. As part of an entity optimization strategy, brands would want to consider all the keyword possibilities for this one topic, including different languages and cultural nuances and more. So now the why. Why is this user doing this search? They want to find a cup of coffee that doesn't cost much in a specific city. They're not focusing on the coffee's quality or the cup size, simply on location and price. Effective entity optimization would interconnect these entities as part of their SEO and help the search engines understand that the search user is looking for the lowest priced cup of coffee in San Francisco. So that brings us last to the how. The how refers to how the user expects to see this information. Do they want it in a video or a list? For this example, they might want a map, uh, a dress, hours of operation, and even different prices for the coffee. So now that we understand the what, the why, and the how, let's talk about the structured versus unstructured data. To understand entity-first optimization, you must also know the difference between structured and unstructured data. For decades, the only thing marketers had to worry about was unstructured data. And unstructured data is the keywords search engines look for on web pages and blog posts. The search spiders don't necessarily understand the connection between a keyword and a web page, only that the keyword exists in the text. This is why in the past, you would see searches that contain the keyword that you were looking for, but it might not have been contextually relevant at all to your search. On the other hand, semantic searches make it necessary to classify data as entities. Structured data is the formatted language used to help information systems make connections. It's similar to medical coding used so 
Everyone from the payer all the way to the care provider understands the treatment. Website builders and marketers organize structured data into specific groups designed to help search engines understand the information provided and its context. This allows for more accurate results for searchers. The coding is behind the scenes so visitors never see it. Structured data must follow a specific format or schema and use distinctive vocabulary to be universally understood. If you hide the word cheap cup of coffee somewhere in your coding, it won't work. <laughs> so you'll need to follow best practices when using structured data to reap the benefits. All right, so now you're probably wondering why worry about entity first searches. Brands have to focus on entity first searches because search engines do. It's that simple. Content that doesn't have proper markup languages and structured data will perform poorly in searches. Not just any schema will do though. Entity optimization is complex because it requires advanced nested schemas that check all the right boxes. And having the right schema in place is the difference between standing out in the searches and getting better organic click-through rates or not. Optimizing keywords is no longer enough. Brands must adopt an entity-first approach to SEO to get that competitive edge. Your rankings are determined by the search engine's ability to interpret the search query and match it with relevant pages on your website. As a result, the better the Google search engine understands your content, the more likely it will rank your pages higher in the SERPs search engine result pages for relevant queries. So if you wanna learn more about Entity First Search and where SEO is headed, check out this article on the Vinci blog, along with plenty of others. We wanna help you generate a consistent and reliable flow of quality leads that convert and implementing structured data into your SEO program will be a surefire way to increase your visibility and credibility in search. Thanks for hanging out with me today, everyone. I'll chat with you again soon.